Good afternoon, I'm John Perkins of the Closing Market Minute. Soybeans, corn, and wheat were all down modestly on Tuesday, essentially on profit taking after the recent gains. Several contracts though, many of the most active ones, were able to stay above what had been key support points. At this point, corn and soybeans are watching the resumption of harvest activity in parts of the Midwest and Plains, expecting a generally better weather pattern for most of this week. And wheat, it's watching rain delays in parts of the southern plains, but that is welcome because it's helping to limit the effects of drought in that region. The winter wheat crop's about to head into dormancy. USDA's next set of supply, demand, and production numbers is out on November 8th. Live cattle were mixed, and feeders closed lower, had a widespread direct business. Buying interest could improve after the Fed cattle exchange results on Wednesday, or widespread trade could wait until after the USDA's cattle on feed numbers, which are out on Friday afternoon. And hogs were up modestly, supported by the recent trend in the pork carcass cutout value, but contracts closed well below the session highs, with packers showing another round of leverage during cash hog trade. I'm John Perkins with the Closing Market Minute.